Hello, welcome back. This is Crazy Bat Lady. So I wanted to show you five scarab helmets with really neat abilities. They also look really silly. And the one I'm wearing is really good for mages. So let's check all of these out. All right, so they all have the negative of taking more damage. This one increases the amount that your uh, flask of crimson tears recovers. This one increases the amount of the Flask of Cerulean Tears. And the next one uh, reduces FP cost of skills by 15%, which is pretty good. And the next two are absolutely amazing. This one right here that I was wearing at the, video, at the start of the video, this reduces the FP cost of sorceries by 15%, but of, of course the increased damage. Definitely a must have for a uh, spam heavy mage build. And the last one reduces the FP cost of incantations by 15%, which is also amazing. Um, but yeah, the stats are literally in the negatives on these. Like you can wear any mask in the game and it will have higher stats. So let's start with the incantation scarab helmet. You're going to want to go to the Artist Shack right here in Limgrave. You can make it there from a bunch of different ways, but this I found to be the easiest way is to go here from that side of Grace. You're going to pick up a painting, and with this painting, go to the first step and head over to the graveyard here. Make sure that it is nighttime. That's very key. So that light pillar there is where the painter guy is going to be. And don't fall in the hole. There's a very big hole that you can fall in right there. So do be mindful of that. And once you get right here, there is a guy sitting in a chair who will drop the mask for you. The second one being the Glenstone Scarab Mask, you're going to want to go to the Debate Parlor and head through these doors into the outside. And this is the part where you climb up the stairway with the rolling ball. Alternatively, you can backtrack from the boss, but I didn't want to show the boss because of spoiler reasons. So just head up here. You might want to avoid the ball. I'm wearing very, very tanky armor, so it's just kind of tickling me. Yep. I'm gonna get up to the top here, and there will be a mini boss in this room right here. Uh, you don't have to fight him. But you just jump out the window here, jump down here, and climb up the ladder. There are going to be a couple of bastards in this room, so take care of them before looting the chest because they, they can kind of ruin your day. Are you, oh, one more back there. The chest is going to be towards the back of the room. There you go. There's your glintstone scarab helmet. The next one is going to be the ash of war scarab helmet. You're going to want to go to the Limgrave Tower Bridge, which is of course in Limgrave. This is the place with the teleporter and the giants. You may want to kill the giants on the way there as it'll make it kind of difficult to get back up because you can't teleport. They will chase you all the way to the edge so keep that one in mind. I just decided to run past most of them and I ended up having to kill them anyways. If, um, especially if you're lower level, these guys can hit really hard, so do be careful. The right build, you can take them down pretty quick, though. Okay, now once you get to where this teleporter is, you want to go behind it and go down this pile of rocks. Over here, you get some soft cotton. And here is your Ash of War Scarab. And now we have the Cerulean Tear Helmet. 
just going to be at the Celia Town of Sorcery. So head right over there and go up the stairs. You don't need to have lit up all the um, belfries here. So don't worry about that. Just this way, take a left. Keep going until you see the staircase. Go up there. And now jump onto this branch. For the branch, you want to take a right onto this building, and then to the next one, and jump over this railing. Now get onto the railing and jump onto the roof. And on this last building up here is where your scarab helmet is going to be. Not one of the most useful ones in my opinion, but I definitely wanted to share these. The Crimson Tear Scarab Helmet is going to be at the Temple of Igle. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Which is going to be um, part of the Volcano Manor questline. You take the elevator up. And then jump into the lava area as you would um, if you were going through that quest. Be some fire slugs, you don't need to worry about them. And just keep going up. There is one enemy here who's kind of a turd. Can definitely ruin your day, so be careful of this enemy. Nobody likes these guys. Alright, there's actually gonna be a hole in the wall right here. So jump through there. Don't go too far to the left because you will fall to your death. And nobody likes falling to their death. All right, speaking of falling to your death, you're gonna wanna jump off the edge right here. And you're gonna find the last scarab helmet, which is the Prince of Tear scarab helmet. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please leave a like and subscribe as I'd appreciate it a ton. And have a wonderful day with your uh, scarab hats. <laughs> Bye.